So the question I'm going to ask you today is, would you travel 100 miles to another test centre outside your area because the pass rate's better there than it is where you are? So that was the question I put at the beginning then. Would you be willing to travel outside your area where the test centre is, your local area, knowing that you've got a better chance of passing your driving test? Okay? So before I continue, let me tell you a, a strange story that I've come across. Oh, it must be about three or four years ago, because my local test centre is Milton Keynes, and the pass rate there is about 49 to 51%, very slightly year on year it might be slightly different each, each year but it's around about that most of my tests are taken there because that's where i live occasionally i'll go to Leighton buzzard which i think that's similar maybe slightly higher not not by much maybe one or two percent occasionally i'll go there maybe about one test a year if someone is closer to that one i might go there but i don't tend to go out the area this one occasion a few, few years ago i was at a test center and there's a guy there looking out the window into the car park watching someone take a test and i looked outside and i said is that your wife out there taking a test he said yeah yeah she's not going to pass though and i looked strange i looked out and she was absolutely rubbish she was doing a, a reverse bay park and it apparently went in sideways it was that bad and i said to him i said she's definitely not going to pass for that he said yeah i kind of think she wouldn't pass so i said uh, is this the first test oh no it's a 10th test so I said, are you from the area? So I said, no, I'm from London. So it took me 14 times to pass, he said, so I'm not expecting her to pass straight away. So I said, what goes on then with you? What are you doing? Like that. So cause I was kind of, kind of, at that point, my ears have pricked up. I was, I was curious what, is, um, what the logic was behind it because it all sounded quite dangerous at that point. So he said, well, what I tend to do, is what I do with mine, I'm doing the same with my wife. I booked a test and I took the test in my own car, because he's using his own car at that point. And I failed, obviously. And I looked at the, what was wrong with it, and I've tried to practice it. But while I'm practicing, I've booked my next test. So, but I didn't stay in London. Wherever test centre could take me in the next two weeks, I'd go wherever it was. So I said, "Where did you pass in the end? Blackpool." So he went, "Oh, it was a Blackpool to pass his test." So it took him 14 times. So you can work at that out. 62 pound the test, 14 times. <sighs> a lot of money. He could have cheap, cheaper buying lessons, couldn't he? Really. So his, his wife were on the tenth time and she failed and I said, what's going to happen now? I said, well, when she comes back, she's obviously failed for that. I can tell straight away. Um, I'm going to get a test booked again and wherever, wherever test centre can get, get close, the closest soonest, I'm going to that one with her. So I said, it's dangerous. It's cost you a fortune. It's dangerous. You're going to hurt someone. He's not bothered. All he's bothered about is passing the test and he must have money to burn while he's doing that because it'd be cheaper and safer doing it where he lives. Right, so that was a story, and it, it kind of shocked me at the time that someone would travel round um, trying to get a test. Now, his logic was he was getting a test as early as he can, wherever it took him around the UK. Now, the question I said at the beginning, would you be willing to travel 100 miles or more to a test centre outside your area that would um, give you a better chance of passing? All right, so putting this, this is the scenario. You failed your first test, or your second or third test, and your instructor saying to you, you're really good at driving, um, and I'm scratching my head why you're failing. It's probably a bit of nerves causing it. Um, and your test centre in your area, its pass rate is something like forty percent pass rate, which is below the national average because the national average is 49, 51 percent in that region. So your test centre in your area is just below the national average by quite a bit, and 100 miles away. There's a um, test centre, and I put a, a picture there of the ones that are actually good uh, pass rates. So 100 miles away, or even further, the pass rate on that, on that test centre is 70%. So there's a big difference between the two. So would you be willing to travel? That's the question. Or would you think, I'm not travelling 100 miles or 150 miles just to pass the driving test. I'll stay where I am, and knowing that I can drive safely and know that area. Okay, and there's also there a picture um, of the um, the worst test rates around the UK. So that's another one to think about. Is your is yours on there? Now I look for mine, and mine's not on there. So mine must be in the middle somewhere, which I, which I thought it was. So that's the question. Put your comment below. I'll put a link also to the article that I read about this one. It was from the BBC from a couple of months ago. 
okay good luck on the driving test and um, if you haven't passed let us know how many times you're on it is it second time you're on your test third time or four or more you know let us know be interested to see what you say take care good luck on the next test and if it's your first one stay focused and try and pass first time